We have on the phone line Melanie and Rich. Hello there. Hello. Hi, Mark. Hey, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be on the show. Are you on the road right now? Uh, we are. Uh, we are just actually finishing up some rehearsing and practicing for uh, some studio time that we had booked, and we're hitting the road in a little bit. Oh, cool! But you'll be down in Manchester in time for the show, right? Absolutely. We hope so. Excellent. You're going to be playing at the main pub tonight in main St- on Main Street in Manchester. Yes, 10 o'clock tonight we start. Excellent. Um, you, I noticed that you play a lot of shows, like 250 a year, right? We do. Do you actually have a home or do you just like live on the road and out of the van? <laughs> we do. We both live in uh, Albany, New York. And, uh, you know, but we really live in our van. <laughs> <laughs> We spent a good portion of our time in our van. Neither of us have slept in our own beds uh, in, in, in quite a while. I'm looking at your card, and you're, you're all up and down the East Coast from Rhode Island and New York, Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, everywhere. Yeah, and uh, the month of May, we were pretty much the entire month, we were down in uh, the Carolinas and uh, Virginia, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, um, so we were down there pretty much the whole month of May, and then we just came back from a week on the road in the, the Midwest, and we hit uh, Pennsylvania, and um, we did Chicago and Michigan and Cleveland. So, um, yeah, we traveled quite a bit. Excellent. You put on a great show. I, we, I saw you last time you were in the area. You've got lots of energy, and the crowd gets into the music. Great time, great great band to see in a, in a small pub like Main Street. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank do, you. Do you know, mostly play in, in pubs and, and when you're going around? Um, it depends on the city. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the stuff is is uh, is pub stuff. But I mean, like the main pub, for example, is different than your normal pub. When people think of a pub, like they have a stage and they have a PA and a sound guy, and so generally they're they're music venue pubs like that. Mm-hmm. I want to read a little bit uh, from your website because uh, it does a better job than, than I could do uh, of describing you. This fiery, sultry, soulful indie pop rock duo is a musical breath of fresh air in the too often homogenized landscape of indie rock. Cersei is fronted by the charismatic Melanie Kramer, who critics call a girl with a stunning voice capable of a lion's roar and a floaty whisper. That's on our website? <laughs> <laughs> that is great. It's a great way to describe you from what, from what I've seen. Cool. Cool. But Rich, well, how about you? How do, how do you do you get described? You do some singing, right? Just eye candy. I, I'm, you're I'm, the eye candy. They, they come from miles around to gaze upon my beauty. I, uh, <laughs> I pay Rich all of my gig money not to sing. Is basically. Hey now, hey now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm not. I'm not what you would call a uh, a vocalist. Um, you just kind of do the backup sometimes, or har- an harmony. Guitar player, though. Yeah, no one really wants to hear me sing at all. No. Uh, with with uh, with uh, being on stage with Melanie, it's kind of hard to compete with that. Um, I'm basically just witty banter, guitar playing, and I play some bass with my feet. Um, he's pretty amazing. He's selling himself short. He's an amazing guitar player, and he does play, but is set up basically like a, a small piano, and he plays bass parts with his feet on the piano as he's playing these amazing guitar parts. And uh, he also plays piano, so some of the tracks on our CD have some piano parts, and he is he is playing that. Wow! So you're not the only multitasker, then. You're both kind of doing. Not the only multitasker. By you you are the queen of multitasking, though. You play drums and you've got a drumstick. What is a drumstick? Uh, so I, I'm playing. Um, I am playing drums and I'm playing a full kit standing up, which is something people comment on a lot because you don't see a lot of drummers playing standing up. But as the lead singer, um, it's better for breath support and things. If there are any singers out there listening, you know it's easier to sing if you're standing up than if you're sitting down. Um, and then also as a front person, just like the energy that we're trying to create, um, it seems to come across better when I'm standing. So I'm playing a full drum kit standing up, and then I'm also playing um, any bass parts that Rich is not covering on the keyboard with his feet. I have a, key- a keyboard that's set up like a piano, basically, um, 
that I have hooked up on my drum kit that I'm playing with a drumstick. So I'm playing bass parts with that as well. And then I also throw in some flute solos and some melodica solos here and there too. That's amazing. You're constantly moving around when on, you're on stage. Yeah. Yeah. She's a dynamo, I tell you, a dynamo. Yeah. Um, did you know that, do you know what Pandora is? Yes. You are on Pandora. I don't know if you yes. knew that. Yeah. I, I was surprised. I typed you in one day, and I'm like, whoa, there they are. Yeah. That's what I listen to when I'm at work. And uh, of our got us on there, I believe. That was cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's another one, Django, I think. Uh, you're not on there, though. That's another similar site. I'm not sure. I think on Django, I think you have to be unsigned. And uh, we got signed about a year ago, so I think that we can't be on there, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all new to me. It might uh, be incorrect. I, I know that I have heard of that site and looked into getting us on there, and I think we didn't qualify uh, at, I think. That's right. You're on to bigger and better things. <laughs> where do you, where do you see yourselves in a few years? Where where do you want to be? Um, well, on the moon. I'm hoping to be on the moon. Oh, that would be cool. Flying cars and a and a moon base, and that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I mean, we we uh, we're very fortunate that we get to play music for a living, and we have a job that we love. Um, but it would be great to be able to play in slightly larger venues. I mean, we're not, I mean, I can't speak for you, Rich. I don't really uh, want to have uh, stadiums. That's not my goal. But like small, um, small, respectable musical music venues and, and to expand our touring radius to hit the West Coast as well and also overseas, that would be really cool. Awesome. So basically larger venues so you wouldn't have to play as often maybe? Um, just, I think, uh... We like playing a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... I mean, I'm guessing we would still play a lot, but just, um... We would be playing in, uh, more cities. You know, so we would be covering a wider geographic area. Cool. I guess you're right, though. We probably wouldn't play 250 shows a year if we were playing larger venues all over the world. I imagine it would be getting... You'd would be, get really tired. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I noticed from your website that uh, some of your favorites are The Muppet Show. <laughs> mine mine as well. Yes, of course. Uh, what, Not easy being green, Mark. <laughs> it's, it can be. <laughs> but uh, if you could imagine yourself being on The Muppet Show with all the Muppets surrounding you and playing your songs, what, what do you think you would want to play? Oh, that's a good question. Um, you, know, I you never daydream that. about this? I, I think that, uh, yeah, I think I would agree, our song Revolution, um, because it's got a really um, positive message, and it also goes along with what the Muppets stand for, I think. Um, our song Revolution, the chorus of it is, um, make it take an army to back you down, because life's marching on, it's not waiting around. Get up, get off it, and break some ground. Make your own revolution. And it's, uh, you know, it's a song about kind of just, not waiting for life to happen to you, but to just jump in head first and live it, um, even if uh, the way that you're doing it is unconventional and weird, and and uh, and that's kind of what the Muppets stand yeah, for in every are about Muppet movie. Being individual <laughs> and doing your own thing. Yeah, yeah, so I think it would be that song. Yeah. Awesome. That's a cool question. No one's ever asked us that before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've already played Revolution uh, to start off the show, and then I, I played Sorry Me, which I really love. I think that's probably Maybe your most com commercial or mainstream song? Uh, that one's gotten a lot of radio play. It has? Okay, good. And, and you've got a couple of videos that you made, too, which are really cool. We do. Uh, we have a video that we made for Sorry Me with a really talented guy in, uh, in the Albany area, uh, Jeff Knight. And um, his daughter is actually the star of the video. The young okay. girl plays the uh, sort of mini-me in the video. Um, mini-me. And uh, and then we did um, a video with another talented guy in Albany named Justin Maine um, for our song Revolution, which actually, uh, well, he's he's really good at filming things in high def, so the the quality was really great, and um, it was played on HBO a bunch of times uh, because of the 
really good quality of that video. So that was cool. And then and the talent. Yeah, and and Rich made um, uh, his own video for a song of ours called Oh Billy from a show we did on New Year's Eve, this past New Year's Eve. Um, tell him about that, Rich, because you had this idea for a while. Well, Mel, thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, I, I basically just filmed uh, the whole the whole day, like from our arrival at the venue, to, you know, through setting up and then playing the show and tearing down and then leaving the venue. So the video ends with us opening the doors of the van to load in, ends with uh, us closing the doors, loading out. Cool. Just I'm lapsed it so I made it so that you know it buzzed by really fast so the entire eight or nine hours just passes by in the three and a half minutes of the song Oh Billy this is kind of you know cool cool little thing it's funny to watch us moving around really fast <laughs> excellent did you post it up yet I did yeah that's on our should be on our YouTube YouTube page, YouTube page. Yeah. cool I will check that out so wh where can we check out your website what is the other website well thanks for asking Mark our website <laughs> is thirsty.com s-i-r-s Y.com. I and mean, wh where'd you come up with the name for the, the duo? Cersei uh, is my nickname. When I was a little kid, my sister uh, would call me Cersei instead of sister or sissy. Aww. Um, yeah, aww. And we, uh, we spelled it phonetically because, you know, that's what little kids do. So when we were trying to come up with a band name, um, we were trying to find something that would be unique and no one else would have. So I wrote Cersei down on a napkin for Rich, and I said, what do you think about this? And he said, Cersei, what is that? And I said, exactly. <laughs> I don't you know. Nobody knows what it is. Exactly. So no one else will have, you know, the, the same band name as us. And so he liked it, and we went with it. And um, we found out later that it has uh, different meanings um, that we did not anticipate. One being, you may know about this, um, the Greek goddess, C-I-R-C-E, -E, also pronounced Circe. Yep. Uh, and one of her many uh, talents or tricks that she would do was sing and lure the uh, sailors into her island, and she turned all the men into pigs and uh, <laughs> made them her slaves. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so that was one thing. And then also when we were touring uh, down south in um, Georgia area, we found out that Circe, which they spell... S-U-R-S-E-Y down south is a small surprise gift that you give someone. Hmm. Um, so that was kind of neat. And then also we had a girl show up who thought we were going to be a reggae band because she said her grandmother used to feed her some Jamaican tea when she was sick that was called Circe. <laughs> wow, that is cool. You so learn it's kind of wild, but, uh, but yeah, S-I-R-S-Y is us. And, um, and it was just a, a little nickname that my sister gave me when we were growing up, so... That's cool that you learn learn a lot traveling on the road and uh, getting a lot of different perspectives. The um, question I like to ask everybody, especially someone like you who's on the road constantly, 250 shows a year, um, what's like your favorite place to go and get a bite to eat, like a burger or a favorite ice cream that you always have to stop at when you're in that town? <laughs> uh, there is a place in Abingdon, Virginia, which is in the southwestern corner of Virginia, where a college that we played a few times, called the House on Main. And it, uh, it is basically a house that they, it's like a two or three story house that they've gutted and turned into like a home style restaurant. Nice. We, we make a point of stopping there, programming to our GPS. Uh, they just have really awesome cooking. Melanie's vegetarian, so they often have, uh, you know, a variety of vegetarian options for her to eat there. Yeah. So I would say that for my food. Cool. Uh, for the ice cream portion of that question, Mark, I can answer that very easily <laughs> because I, I consider myself an ice cream connoisseur. Um, so we, when we were in, uh, ran across this place called Mike's Ice Cream, and it's it's right on, like, the main drag in downtown Nashville where all the cheesy, touristy stuff is. Um, but Mike's is local to Nashville, so it's not a chain or anything. And um, they make their ice cream homemade. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, they have this red velvet cake ice cream, which is by far 
the best ice cream I have ever had. They have like a vanilla or a sweet cream base. They have a they have a it's a red velvet cake base with chunks of cake and then chunks of cream cheese frosting. Oh, sounds yeah. good. <laughs> it's that good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's too far away from me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a hike. <laughs> oh well, if I'm ever in the area, I'll try to remember that. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I uh, appreciate you calling up today. And uh, again, you're going to be at the Main sh- Pub at uh, Main Street on Manchester tonight at 10 o'clock. Yep, and we play all night. So uh, even if you feel like you, you can't get there till later, um, we're going to be there. So come on down. Excellent. Rich and Melanie, I, I appreciate you calling today. And uh, thank you. Keep in touch and uh, let us know what you're doing. Thanks for having us, Mark. And we're going to see you later at the show, right? Absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on the line for a sec.